What's shaking, Navigation Nation? Today is Monday, December 3rd. In light of the technical difficulties that we're having with our technology for Friday's weekly video update, I just thought I'd come in here and redo it, re-record it. We are, we're working on a solution to be able to broadcast live in the community because I think it's going to be a huge benefit for everybody. But uh, unfortunately, I mean, we've tried Crowdcast. It was the one we posted with on Friday. We've tried Zoom, uh, GoToWebinar, you know, all the big names uh, for that kind of technology. And unfortunately, the, uh, you know, when you do it live, we're getting that blurry uh, visual, we're, we're getting kind of that delayed and skipping stuff that we, we had on, on uh, Friday. So it's just not quite there yet. Uh, we're going to continue to test different solutions. And the, the community platform that we, the platform that we use for the community has talked about coming out with our own native live video capabilities. So hopefully that comes soon because I really want to be able to do that for you all. But uh, anyway, I'm going to catch you guys up, kind of redo this, going back to next week's, uh, last week's trades through today, Monday. And, uh, and, and so we are on it. We're going we're gonna to find a solution. But uh, so sorry for that issue. And uh, we'll, we'll make sure we get it, get it right going forward. But this will continue to be posted in the VIP Pro Group area. And, uh, and then last announcement before we jump in here, don't forget markets are closed on Wednesday. So there will be no alerts on Wednesday, unless there's a major thing that we want to do primarily in the options on a futures market, because the main equity markets will be will be pretty much closed. And if they are open, those that are open for a brief period, you know, the liquidity is going to be thin. So we don't want to be doing a lot of trading on those days. All right, so let's jump in to the alerts, starting with uh, the 26th, which was last Monday. And let's go through these. First one was a rolling adjusting trade in EEM. So we rolled our short strangle in EEM from December to January. Kept the strikes the same at that 37.42 level. Uh, we were over 50% of max profit on that piece of the trade. So we wanted to just extend duration and roll it out. So uh, let's take a look at EEM on the platform. It's up 2% today, so you can see now this is up here kind of close to testing our short strike to the upside. So if we get a little bit more downside movements, more time to pass, uh, we will look at potentially booking that one. Next trade was an opening trade in forward slash 6E, which is the euro. IV percentile at that time was at 53, and we've got a decent amount of little Decent amount of profit in here, not quite enough to take off yet, up about $175 on a possible $625. So we are going to wait and try to get some more theta decay there. Next trade was a closing trade in forward slash 6E. So this was one that we actually closed the previous Friday. What happened was we ha we we left our resting order in the in the order queue by mistake. It got filled after hours, so that's why that alert didn't come out until Monday morning. But we booked over forty percent of max profit. The good news is that you should have been able to book more, uh, get out for even better prices. So hopefully, you got even more than forty percent of max on that one. Uh, next trade was a closing trade in IYR. So we had an iron condor in IYR. Had to make several adjustments uh, throughout a couple of cycles, uh, but by staying mechanical, booked a profit of $500 on that trade. Next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in EWW. So we rolled one set of our short strangles in EWW from December out to January, and we adjusted our calls down from 44 to 41. And, um, and then we were still at that point holding our other short strangle in December. Now, I'm going to go to the platform and talk about EWW because today we ended up taking one of those off and booking a profit on one of those pieces. So I'll get to that here in a minute. Closing trade, we, did, we bought back a strangle that we had in SPY, booked over 35% of max profit in just 11 days on that one. We actually re-entered a position in SPY today, which I'll, I'll also get to in a minute. Next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in SMH. So we rolled our short strangle from December to January, and then we rolled our strike call down from 104 down to 101. We were over 50% of max profit on that piece of, 
of the trade, so we just wanted to extend duration. With 24 days left in December, it just made sense to roll to extend that duration. So if we take a look at SMH, show you where we're at now. Uh, price has moved up some today. It's up 1.8%. Stock's really strong today. Uh, so we're kind of hanging out in the upper end of our range here, but just nothing to do but wait and see in SMH at this point. Getting a nice contraction in implied volatility here across the board with the with stocks moving higher. So we'll just kind of uh, wait and see on that one. Next trade was an opening adjusting trade in IWM. So we simply just added an iron condor in IWM. Uh, at that point, we were still holding our other trade. I'll kind of skip ahead here because we had a, a second iron condor. This one we closed out, booked over 45% of max profit on that one. And then we're still holding this one that we added. So if we take a look at the platform here, IWM moving up with the rest of the market today, implied volatility contracting nicely. If we take a look, we'll see that uh, price is up here. It's moved up out of center, but still well within our range. So we'll just continue to wait and play that one as needed. Next trade was an opening trade in Netflix. So this is one where we added some short delta and we did that by selling a short call vertical in Netflix. And, uh, and so prices, prices moved up since we put that on. If we take a look, see prices moved out of our range here. And the reason we put this on, I talk about this from time to time. When we get directional, really what we're looking for is a pretty decent move in one direction. And then we try to enter on a little bit of a pullback. Now we entered on the pullback, but it did continue higher. So, you know, if, if Netflix can roll over, it was up big today. Now it's up just barely on the day, uh, a little over a quarter percent. So if we can get some follow through to the downside, that will definitely benefit this trade. But we we needed some short delta in our portfolio. And to give you an idea of where we're at as of right now, we uh, we're right at about one to one. So uh, with the up movement, obviously you're automatically naturally going to get some short delta because our range bound plays as price moves up that uh, increases the short delta on those positions. So just kind of naturally we gained some that way. And then we also gained some short delta by adding this Netflix position as well as one in NVIDIA, which I'll go over in just a second. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in IWM. That's one I already mentioned. Then we did an opening trade in EWZ, selling some premium in the Brazilian market. Implied volatility continues to stay high. You can see this is really centered. And just since, since then, applied volatility has contracted a decent amount, and we're up about $130 of a potential 475 So if we get a little bit more profit quickly, we'll go ahead and book that one. If not, we will just manage as necessary. If we take a look at the charts, you know, after today's big move, you can see applied volatility is really starting to contract down below that 50 level after today. So uh, getting some good contraction in implied volatility across the board. Next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in Facebook. So we had an adjusted strangle uh, at the 140, 135 strikes, uh, 140 call, 135 put. And we were at 21 days to expiration at this point. So we just simply rolled this out to January and kept our strikes exactly the same. So we take a look at Facebook, which has moved up a little bit since that point, since that roll. So you can see we've got a little bit of profit since we did the roll, but uh, just waiting for price moves down a little bit, waiting for a little bit more implied volatility contraction, some more time to pass before we close that one out. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in FXI. So we had a call butterfly on in December and we booked a uh, over 20% of, of profit on that trade. And then we're still holding our put butterfly. Today, we went ahead and added another call butterfly back on there. So I'll get to that when we get to that alert. Next trade was an opening trade in NVIDIA. So as I mentioned, another trade that we are selling a short call vertical and trying to add some short delta back into our portfolio. Uh, NVIDIA was up really big today, which is against us. It was up over five, actually it was up 6% at one point. Now it's up just under four, but you can see it's still still in our range, but uh, it's moved against us a, a decent amount just with today's up move in the market. So we need a little bit of downside to benefit that one. 
and we'll just kind of hold and continue to wait on that. We are in January with 46 days to expiration, so a lot of time to go there. Next trade was an opening adjusting trade in wheat. So we added an iron condor in wheat, and then the very next trade, we closed out the one in our January cycle. So the one in January had 21 days. We closed that out, booked over 50% of max profit on that piece of the trade, and then we added this one. So it's, you can kind of think of this as rolling our wheat iron condor. Technically, we don't roll those because the platforms don't allow you to roll four-legged spreads, uh, but essentially that's what we're doing. So we closed out one, rolled the other one out, uh, or excuse me, re-entered a new one in the next cycle with 56 days to expiration at the time. And so we've got that one iron condor on in wheat, which you can see is pretty pretty much exactly where we put it on. Uh, no profit or loss on uh, no profit or loss on that piece at this point. Next trade was a closing trade in GC, and this is getting into today, Monday. And so we closed out our iron condor in gold, booked uh, over 35% of max profit. We were in this for less than two weeks. So we are out of gold at this point. If we take a look at GLD, the ETF, uh, that's, that's not a trade. That's just a theoretical position I was messing around with. So I'll take that out. But if we look at the chart, uh, you can see implied volatility is really contracted in gold. So we're not looking to re-enter in there uh, anytime soon unless we get a pop uh, spike higher in implied volatility. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in EWW. So I mentioned this earlier. So we had uh, one set of our short strangles that's already out in January. This one was still in December with 18 days left to expiration. So we were uh, Friday, it was 21 days to expiration, but we had already done several adjustments and, and rolls. So we like to spread those out. So we gave this uh, a little bit more time, which is today. And, and we had this big move up today in EWW, which is great because it allowed us just to close this out, book a profit of over 40% of max profit on this piece of the trade, and then we're still holding our other piece, which I will show you here. So this is our uh, this is our adjusted strangle, and you see we've gotten back a lot, of, a lot of that profit in there. We're almost back to even on the EWW trade overall, so we're gonna continue to hold this, try to, try to get some more profit out of this piece. If we get down to a point where we're close to that 21 days to expiration, we'll go ahead and roll this one again, but we've got 46 days here, so plenty of time, not looking to do anything at this point. Now, if the price moves you know, close to one of these break-evens on either side, then we'll probably add another short strangle centered, just another piece, kind of like we, we just took that one off. We'll probably add another one, depending on where implied volatility is. You know, The IV percentile is still at 93, so chances are it, uh, it should be pretty high, uh, continue to still be pretty high if we need to add another piece on. Next trade was an opening adjusting trade in FXI. So this is where we added on another call butterfly. We did this out in the January cycle with 46 days to expiration. So now we've got the piece in December, which is with today's big up move has moved out of our range. Um, you can see right here, uh, it's well out of our range. So if we could get a little bit of downside here and get back to even on that, try to get out of that one. We entered this other piece here to add some more premium and it's it's dead centered. We, uh, we're up a tiny bit since we put that on. So we'll just continue to manage this as needed. Hope, hopefully we can get a little ping pong action action between the, the two different butterflies and, uh, and then and get out of that profitably. And then lastly, last trade today on Monday was an opening trade in SPY. So we wanted to sell some more premium in the equity markets, get some more exposure there. We did this in January with 46 days to expiration. Uh, IV percentile was at 73. If we take a look at where it's at now, uh, it's come down since then. So it's at 69 now. Uh, after the up move, we're getting that contraction. And you can see the iron condor here. We're up a little bit of profit, uh, but we'll wait and, and look for about 30 to 40% of max profit on that one. So those are all the alerts. Let's take a look at some of our other positions. I mentioned 6E, oil having a big day for us, up over 4%. And the market, uh, it's got about, uh, what is that? About a little over, a little less than 40 minutes before it closes today. 
Um, and so here's one of our pieces to our oil trade. It's come back nicely into range. And uh, so we've made back some of that, uh, some of that loss on our oil trade. And then our other piece looks like this. Price is trading right here. So if we can get price to kind of stay in this range and we continue to roll for a couple cycles, we will get back uh, everything that we, we need. Um, obviously, we don't want it to continue lower because uh, it's just had that crazy move down to the downside. But if we can get it, get it to kind of stabilize right in this area above that 50 level and we can continue to manage and adjust those, those pieces of that trade, we'll be fine in oil. And, uh, and same thing in natty gas. And before I get to that, let me just go in order here with the ES. We've got this long put vertical that we've got on for short delta. You can see price has moved well out of the range here. So just looking for some downside before we do anything there. Uh, with these options, we've got 18 days to expiration. So sometime next week or the week after, we will potentially roll that uh, depending on where we're at with everything. But uh, with stocks moving higher, that obviously moved out of our range. And then Natty Gas, our other problem child, has has been playing very nice today, uh, down over five and a half percent. You can't see the hash mark; it's right there behind that red behind that break even point, but it's right here. So almost back into range on this piece. And Natty Gas only has 23 days to expiration in this January cycle. So here in the next couple of days, in fact, probably tomorrow on Tuesday. We'll take one of these at least and roll it out to the February, collect some credit on that, and then continue to manage that in the February cycle. Um, so that's that piece. And then we've got this other piece of the trade. And this one price is right here. So, you know, could still use a little bit more downside movement in Natty Gas to benefit that one. But same thing here. We won't roll both of these pieces out to February the same day. We like to spread that out, spread our uh, price points and our credits out over a period to kind of diversify that. Uh, but here over the next week, we will have rolled both of these out to the next uh, monthly expiration cycle. I mentioned wheat, apple. So Apple's moved out of our range. We've got this long put vertical here for that short delta exposure. It's barely out of our range here, so we could just use a little bit of downside in Apple to benefit that piece. DIA, same thing. We've got two sets of short call verticals. These were originally part of Iron Condors that we kept on the, uh, the short call vertical side for that short delta exposure. With stocks being strong, it's moved out of our range. But we're, you know, we've got plenty of time left here, 18 days, so we're not looking to do anything quite yet. EEM, I mentioned that one. We've got price hanging out here in the upper end of the range. EFA, another short delta piece. Price is right here on our break even, so we need a little bit of downside to benefit that. Same thing, it's in December, so we've got some time before we decide to roll or close that one. EWW I mentioned, EWZ I mentioned, Facebook I mentioned, FXI I talked about, IWM, Netflix, NVIDIA, Qs. So this is very similar to DIA. We've got two sets of short call verticals here. And with the strong price movement in stocks, it's come out of our range. So just looking for some downside to get back into range there. SMH, I think I mentioned that one. Yeah, we've, we've got a little bit of profit, but just waiting there. SPY I mentioned, and XLK, another short delta, short short bias position that has kind of broke out of our range, so looking for some downside to benefit that piece. So overall, making back some of those uh, you know intermediate term losses that we saw in oil and nat gas, hopefully those continue to play nice for us, and we just play the game and stay mechanical. Uh, just to reiterate, it's so important to stay mechanical, especially when the big moves happen. And of course, keeping your position size small is the key. So keep up the good work, everybody. Love your uh, enthusiasm and engagement and participation in the community. Keep that up. Loving it. And we will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Happy trading.